Hey guys and welcome to the 10th lesson in this series. We'll be looking at methods and special methods and we'll basically be continuing the program that we were creating in the previous video. So uh, let's go ahead and just delete this. And already we looked at a special method which is the init method and again this is called every time an object is created from your class so whatever we put in this part here in this function or in this method it would automatically run as soon as you create an object using the class all right so we'll go ahead and we're going to add some other functionality to our class the, the next one we're going to add is the method to scan the string and give us the first email address that it finds in that string. So let's say our method would be called scan email and we'll pass the self variable there and we will s we will give this a a doc string so we'll say that this returns returns the first email address found in the text right and we'll use a variable we'll say email scan and then we're going to use the regular expression module now and we will use the search function so for that we will be searching okay so for the search method the first thing it takes is the pattern that we're looking for so we already defined the pattern here where it is self dot email pattern and the next thing it wants is the string that it will be searching so we'll go ahead and we'll just put in self dot text which is what the what will enter when we call that class all right so we'll go ahead and we'll say email found so we'll use this variable to get the email found and we'll say that is the email scan and then we'll access it using the group method all right so this would give us the email from the output that we get from the email scan and then we'll just return email found okay so we can go ahead and run this and see what happens so we'll say receive and from that we'll say something like hi please send an email to john dot do at outlook dot com immediately all right and then we'll say email equal get email and we'll put that receive variable in here and we'll use the scan we'll use the scan email method and then we'll just print email okay so let's go ahead and run this that should be classes all right 
and you see it outputs john dot do at outlook dot com so it's scanned through this and it returned the first email that it find that matches our pattern so great now we're gonna add another method to our, our class and this is basically gonna bring back a list of all the email in the string so we'll go ahead and we'll say define and we'll say scan emails right and we will say returns all email addresses spell that right as a list found in the text and we'll go ahead and create an empty list that will store all the emails in and we'll go ahead and say email scan equal and we use the find all method this time so find all or no just use the find the find well say find iter because it's like a uh, iterator so yeah self dot email pattern so it takes the same um arguments here and then the self dot text and we'll go ahead and say for email in email scan since email scan is now an iterator we can go through it and then we can append each of these emails to the to the email list and then we can just return emails okay so if we should expand this and we say something like uh, after which send and then we'll go to a new line send and emails to Jenny dot do to inform her of the conversation okay so we're gonna just simply change this to emails since that's the name of our second method and we'll go ahead and run this and it did not okay let's see what happened here oh we didn't finish this so at yahoo.com all right and we'll go ahead and run this and you see that it brings us back a list with all the emails in the string so that's basically how you would create methods for for pi in well create methods for your class in python we'll just take a another quick look at another special method we know we explained one right here but i'll show you some other features well one other example of what you can do with special methods so i'll go ahead and just delete this Alright, say for example, we know that if we have x and we say 2 and we have y and we say 3 and we should say print x plus y and we run this, then we'll get 5. But what if we want to have two integers but when we say print x plus y it gives you 23 so it 
puts the 3, it's append the 3 to the 2 and it gives you 23 instead of adding them. Um, how could we do this then? So that's the thing with special methods in Python. You can basically override to give your own, uh, we you say your own definition of that method. So basically when you say x plus uh, y, Python uses a special method of add. So it uses the add method to do that. So Python also define their own add method. All right. So we're going to create a function or a class with that to define our own add method. So we're going to call this concat and we're going to say define in it and we're going to say x and self dot x equal x all right so that's our first special method our next special method is going to be the add method that and then we'll join equal so we'll take the string of self x and we'll basically add it to the string of other x and then we'll just return back the integer of those of that joined um, string so if we should go ahead and create two objects so we should say first mm, let's use I and J. Or let's use A and B. Okay, so A equal concat two. That should be in parentheses. And B equal concat three. And if we go ahead and we say add equal A plus B and we'll just print add and we'll also print the type of add All right and if we go ahead and we should run that you see that we get 23 instead of 5 and we also get that the class is still an integer so that's basically how you would create your own method using the the built-in uh, python special method um, there are a couple others there are special methods for the greater than like comparison methods you have the greater than less than um, you have some string methods and so forth so they're out there they're on the python website and they're also in the book the rapid programming book so you should go ahead and you can try them out um, try creating your own classes and basically run some programs so you can get your practice on this okay so i hope you learned a lot from this and we'll see you in our next video all right thanks for watching